thrifting and reselling here. I'm showing you the next items that will be going on Macari. For the exception of this one, this will be going on Etsy. So let me get you a good view of everything first. And then I will go over each item one at a time. This is the Home Essentials Reactive Blue Ceramic Covered Butter Dish. It, duh, let me see where I can set this lid up just a second. It does have the tag on the bottom, which is extremely difficult to see, but if you hold it just in the light, you can make out the home essentials. So I will put that back there. Put this, it's like for a double, uh, <clears throat> like for a double butter, cause it's real wide. The next item is the, um, we'll show you right here. This one here, I'm in my own light again. Sorry, I'll hold it up in a second. It's an Amish ceramic shelf sitter figurine, a uh, boy and girl. It does have tape on the bottom and it is faceless. That's why I say Amish since they don't have faces on their items and dolls and such. The tape is right there. I would imagine somebody put tape on it so when they set it down like that on the shelf that it, you know, would stick. I guess they were afraid it was going to fall off. Um, no cracks, no chips. Well, it, you're going to have to wait a minute, Mama. If you told me just a few minutes ago, I would have taken you out. Now, give me a minute. Okay, the next item will be this vintage honeycomb jar uh, bee pot with the, I call it a honey spoon. I don't know what it's. The correct name of it is it has a beehive lid it is signed on the bottom let me kind of move that over a minute I just call this a honey spoon I don't even know what it's called but it does have it and let me show you the I always turn it upside down it says Cherokee got the arrow 11181 See it is Vintage. Mm, there we go like that. The next item we have is this item here, and it is vintage. It's a pewter hummingbirds sachet holder. Now, um, I did some research on it, and it does say the research says. I found some others identical to it that says it's pewter. I looked all over it. I could not find where it says pewter. So I researched and found that not all pewter items are marked pewter. But either way, this is a beautiful piece. It opens up this right. Um, it's right here you just loosen it up and it opens opens up and you put your sachet inside of it you can hang it anywhere in your house you can hang it in your car any vehicle you're driving wherever you're at and it kind of hides the sachet inside of it it's a heart with hummingbirds this will go in my Etsy shop. 
Now I found another listing and it had two of them for uh, $50. So I obviously have one, so I will be selling this on Etsy for $50. Um, watch all the way to the end and I will have on there what I will be listing each item for, okay? The next thing is the vintage 1950s Toby Man Mug. Um, he's five and a half inches and he's holding a pipe and a mug. You can see it right here. That's the bottom. It says 1950 on the bottom, but it's like written on it. It's just really faded but all the research I did shows that they are in the 1950s inside pretty cool old vintage mug okay I keep having to switch hands so I can move out of the light one day I'll get me a lamp or something to go up, up, up above it. I hear emergency vehicle going by. Huh, sounds close. Look out the window. Okay, so the next item would be the fairy lamp. It is frosted with flowers. Now this is not Fenton. Um, Fenton to me <coughs> feels a lot thicker than this one. This does not have no chips, no cracks or anything. And let's see. So I'm not sure who the maker is on that, but it is a fairy lamp. I don't know why I sell all my fairy lamps. I've got some on eBay too. I should be keeping them, but I don't have room in my prayer room. If I had another empty shelf, I'd probably have them all up there with the candles in it going with some little pixies. I'm gonna have my husband make some pixies. <clears throat> okay, and then just so I can sell them separate. The next thing that we have is the orb paperweight um, flower this one here around looks like it's got controlled bubbles show you the bottom of it now that is not a uh, chip that is like I think that's a manufactured flaw it is on, I can feel it, but it looks like it was, it's, was made that way on that pontal. Very beautiful. Whoa, move it over. And then the next paperweight we have is this one here next to it. It has um, swirls, blue swirls in it. There's the bottom. That little place right here is, uh, I think a tag was right there. It's the top of it. Put it down right here like this and you can see them next to each other. The next item we have is a pear paperweight that is um, frosted with clear with a clear stem. It's this one here. Hold it up in the light. That's the bottom. It's a clear stem. No cracks or chips or anything. I like paper weights, but I don't have room for them. I buy them to resell. <coughs> Okay, and then the 
Next one we have is this one here. Now, I call it a paperweight, but I suppose you could still use it too for a candle. I would say if you wanted to use it for a candle, you would place it this way. And if you wanted it for a paper, oh, I still hear the, uh, I wonder if there was a wreck out there. Um, and if you wanted to use it for a paperweight, you could do it like that too. Either way is pretty. I'm not quite sure exactly which one it is. There it is like that. And like that. Pretty flower. So we will sit it back down like that. Okay, and then the last item we have is another paperweight. It is fish art glass. It's a heart paperweight. This one here, me. I gotta look over the phone to kind of work it out so I'm not bumping it on anything. I'm kind of holding it like this. You can see like an aquarium. It's a heart. I'm trying to hold it. Let me. Uh, holding it where my fingers aren't all in the way. This. And top. And the back side. So again, all of these will be going on Macari for the exception of the set Shea holder. That will go on um, Etsy. And the rest will be on Macari. Uh, don't leave yet. I'm going to put on the end what I'll be listing them for. Thank you.